Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be showing you some pregnancy things that you need to basically survive and get through those first few months of pregnancy. For those of you that are following my channel, you know that I recently had a baby. So I did go through the full nine months of pregnancy, so I'd like to think that I know a thing or two about some things that you may need that I felt really helped me out. The reason I decided to record this video is because one of my close girlfriends, she is actually pregnant and she's having her gender reveal party this week. There's always things that, you know, when you go to these parties, baby showers and gender reveals, and there's always things you're giving to, of course, the baby, but nothing for mom. So I decided for her gender reveal, I, of course, got something for the baby. The theme is actually bikinis and trunks so basically if trunks were boys bikini if she's having a girl so I just decided to do these two pre-filled bags so you just kind of want like an idea um, for baby pink if it's a girl blue if it's a boy and inside of each of them I got a little bathing suit since of course that goes through a theme so she's in love with leopard I got a little leopard bikini if it's a girl and I got a little green and blue um, trunks if it's a little baby and boy. And then, like I said, for her, I decided to do something, and that is, of course, doing this little basket. So I just got a white basket that I filled with tissue paper. I did half of it, as you can see here, with pink tissue paper, the other half with blue tissue paper, and I created this little list here for her. It basically just says, pregnancy survival kit. Pregnancy is such a wonderful time. Here are some things so you don't lose your mind. So since I already pre-filled this basket and I have to you know of course um, I'm either gonna wrap it or put it in a bag something like that I don't want to take all of the items out individually so I'm just going to read off the list this way if those of you are going to be attending a baby shower or a gender reveal as I am you can definitely create a basket like this or most importantly if you are pregnant yourself and you just want to make one of these for to have at home and keep for you that's of course a great option as well so for this pregnancy survival kit, the first thing that I included in there were some saltine crackers. So for those who get up for morning sickness, you know that is definitely something you're going to need. And I just wrote saltine crackers to combat nausea. This will be your lifeline. I know my first trimester, I couldn't keep anything down. It basically was just nausea from the second I woke up all the way until bedtime. So saltines were my best friend. I was able to just kind of pop those in. This way I'm having something in my stomach because you tend to get more sick, unfortunately, if you have a totally empty stomach. So saltine crackers. The second thing is Tums, in case you have a hairy child and heartburn strikes. Now, if those of you that know the old wives tale that basically if you have really bad heartburn, it means you're gonna have a baby with a lot of hair. In the last trimester of my pregnancy, I had horrible, horrible heartburn. I was literally popping Tums like if they were candy. They are safe to have during pregnancy, of course, don't, um, take anything in excess so I was taking those and it really helped subside my heartburn she's not yet in her third trimester but I just figured I'd throw those in there for once she gets into those later stages then the third thing is pregnancy bands a new and inventive choice for nausea relief now for me I have been on about nine or ten cruises and I actually used to use the C-bands and they actually worked really good for me for helping with nausea. I would take the Dramamine and I would wear these constantly. The only time I would take them off is of course when you're going to the shower and they worked really great. So when I got pregnant I was feeling nauseous. I thought why not wear those bands again. So I went on to Amazon and I googled the C-bands and they actually showed these as well and it's called C-Band Mama. So it's drug-free relief, effective, reusable, washable, morning sickness relief. So these are the exact same thing pretty much that they use for when you're on a cruise and you can use it when pregnant. These are for, you know, pregnant moms. They come in a pretty like pink purple type of shade so you can wear them. If you guys were watching my previous videos like in my makeup tutorials that I was doing on my channel, when I didn't yet announce it, you can kind of see I was kind of wearing them and trying to hide them as best I could while I was doing my makeup because like I said, I wore these non-stop and they worked great for me. They don't work for everybody, but they definitely worked out for me and like I said, you can purchase them on Amazon.com. Then the next thing that we have is cookies to satisfy your cravings for something sweet. So they also say a old wives tale, if you're expecting a little girl, you're going to be craving sweet things. If you're expecting a little boy, you're gonna be um, craving salty things. So I included some Oreo cookies in there for the sweets when you get a craving for a sweet tooth. And then I also included some Pringles chips 
and that's for a yummy salty treat so depending on what she's craving that particular day I thought it was good just to have something right on hand because there have definitely been times when I was pregnant and I was craving something and I didn't have it just easy access in my house I would have to either send my husband out or I would just kind of suck it up and deal with that craving so I wanted to include that for her and then tummy drops a natural way to ease morning sickness once again the reason I'm also including a lot of morning sickness things in here is because unfortunately my girlfriend did experience a ton of that she would eat and throw up right away so I wanted to make sure I had a few things in there and since I dealt with the dreadful morning sickness that kind of was more like all day sickness I just made sure I included a, more than one thing. So like I said, the saltine crackers, the morning relief fans, and now the tummy drops. Now these tummy drops, um, let me just see if you can kind of see them there <laughs> without pulling it out. So they're actually ginger drops. So they contain ginger in them, which helps with nausea. Like I said, they're all natural. It's just kind of like a little candy that you pop into your mouth. They do tend to burn your throat a little bit as anytime you have ginger, but once that goes away, you start to get accustomed to it. They actually work really great. You kind of throw them in your purse and it's a nice, easy, quick thing to relieve um, your nausea that you're experiencing. Then we have a water bottle. So I'm really bad at remembering to drink water. So I used to always have like a Poland spring bottle by me this way. I could always remember that I have to drink a lot more water, especially when you're pregnant. And now even more so because I'm a breastfeeding mother, I have to remember to drink a ton of water because water equals milk. So just for pregnancy, I included a water bottle in there. This way she can remember to keep hydrated since that's so essential when you're pregnant. And then the next thing is lotion, and that one's going to be for hubby to rub on your swollen feet. Now, during the later stages of your pregnancy, some it experiences it way earlier, some women experience it later on. Mine started, I want to say, about the later part of my second trimester into the third trimester, and I had it even after birth, not until... I want to say about two weeks after I gave birth to my daughter did it finally subside. Mine was really, really bad. I would wear flip-flops and within like 20 minutes I would take them off and I would have like indentations on my feet. So I definitely know how uncomfortable that is. So just including some lotion and this one is the Love Struck from Vera Wang because when your baby comes you're going to be love struck with them. And then the next thing that I included was some bio oil. Now, those of you that you know have been pregnant or are pregnant, I'm sure have used like cocoa butter and things like that. They have special like mommy um, belly rubs and such. But I did a lot of research because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get any type of stretch marks during pregnancy. And luckily I did not. I only have one tiny one right by my belly button, but other than that, I did not get any stretch marks. And I don't know, you know, it could be genetics. It could also be that I was using bio oil all the time. So I got this. They have different sizes. I believe three different sizes you can buy. So I got this one here and it's for specializes for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. Now, this is supposed to be, if you already have stretch marks, it's supposed to vanish them over time and also works great like I did in my pregnancy to wear them, to wear it every single day. You just kind of apply it in the evening time is what I used to do. And now the bio oil can get kind of expensive compared to these cocoa butters and things like that, but I do feel like it really works great. And what I started to do towards the end, so it wouldn't be so expensive, all I would do is I would take like about two squirts of the bio oil and two pumps of body lotion, mix them together and apply them all over your belly and your breasts. And I felt like that combination worked just as great and I wasn't using so much of the oil so I wasn't going through it so fast. So the cost didn't rack up so bad. Then the next thing is Kleenex because there is never a wrong time or reason to cry. When I was in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was like, oh, I don't know what they're talking about, these crazy hormones, I didn't experience any of it, I was feeling totally myself. But then once I hit about, I want to say 19 to 20 weeks of pregnancy, then I definitely felt it, the hormones were full force. I would get extremely emotional, I would get upset over nothing. So I definitely would say, you know, that's a little something in there. Just have some Kleenex nearby because you may be shedding some tears if your hormones are crazy out of whack how most pregnant women unfortunately have to suffer through that. Then the next thing is a book. Now I recommend doing a funny book. 
This, this one is basically a funny pregnancy guide to give a few belly laughs and the one that I included in here for her is the one from Jenny McCarthy and it is called Belly Laughs. Now, when you're um, pregnant with your baby, I wanted to, of course, always read to her. I would read children's books and such, but even if you don't have that, the main thing, what causes a child to develop is just basically you reading in general and then hearing your voice. So anything you're reading, they of course don't understand the words, but just your voice speaking to them is what will really help them. So I decided to have a book for myself to read that I could just kind of read out loud every night in about a chapter or two. I would read out loud and it would benefit me getting a few laughs in as well as benefiting the baby and hearing my voice and developing that from already inside the womb. So I recommend and that and then belly stickers to snap photos as memories of the growing baby bump now I was I download an app which you definitely can do but the only problem I would say with the app and the reason I decided to purchase the stickers for her which I wish I would have done for myself is because I have a bunch of photos of my baby bump on my phone but I don't remember what week in pregnancy I was because by the time I would remember to go into the app and do it and upload it and then save it, it was just something that it's way more forgetful. But if you're able to have these, um, these belly stickers, the ones that I purchased were from Pearhead and they're from, um, like they have Babies Are Us by My Baby, you can purchase them there. It's just so much easier to stick a belly, a, a sticker on your belly, snap the photo. This way you have that memory and you won't forget at what stage of pregnancy you were. So I included that. And then finally, I included some Yogi Pregnancy Tea. This is to help with extra nutrients for growing baby and zen time. Now, the one that I use is Yogi. It's called the, the Woman's Mother to Be. It supports health and pregnancy. You, of course, take that along with your um, prenatal vitamins. And I just like kind of having a warm tea either before bedtime or as soon as I woke up in the morning. It de-stressed me for the day, allowed me to have a little bit of me time and relax. And of course, it was beneficial because it had nutrients it was giving the baby. So that was everything that I included in this pregnancy survival kit. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions for me. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll talk to you beauties in my next one. Bye.